All right, we'll get right into the questions. And uh, this is a question that uh, I think is appropriately posed to all of the candidates. How would you represent the interests of the University of Idaho and the greater Moscow community in the legislature, and how? And I'll start on my far right, um, so if you don't mind. Mr. Nelson. Thank you very much. As I just said, I was on the State Board of Education for five years, and we would, did very much to improve education. I was not excited about some of the things that happened most recently with respect to the CEO proposal and non-funding of the University of Idaho. So it's in, uh, efforts. We have a lot of good things going on in this community. The University of Idaho is a keystone for the state, and I believe that we should continue to support it in all fashions. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, the way I would support it is by first looking at, at how they operate and what their programs are. And I am new to being a candidate, so I don't have that kind of information. So I can't give a good answer to make that kind of assessment. Thank you very much. Well, in case you haven't guessed, I'm a vandal cheerleader. Um, I think what I've been trying to do in Boise, and it's been very difficult to help people understand the unique role that a land-grant institution has in teaching, research, and extension. Um, I worked for the University of Idaho for 12 years, and in my position I was a fundraiser for the College of Agriculture, and then I was executive director of development and raised money for all of those different areas. I'm unique in that I've been in every single extension office in the state, 42 out of 44 counties. Um, I, I think uh, it's really important. I'm very concerned about what um, some of the considerations are that don't weigh uh, the graduate programs uh, in a, a little bit heavier than they do the undergraduate programs. I'm hoping that we find some way if, if we move to outcome-based education, which are, the state board is considering for graduation rates, that they do give us some help with the research um, programs with the graduate students. Thank you very much. The legislature is tasked by constitutional mandate to support all the universities and public education. But it's important to take a statewide perspective. You know, oftentimes I'm asked, what are you going to do for District 5, or what are you going to do for this group or this school? What I'm going to do, I'm going to do for the state of Idaho. And in so doing, that takes care of District 5. Uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, parochial interests or, or interests that are too specified, too specific, too close to the, to the heart, so to speak, could get in the way of sound judgment. I'm a steward of the taxpayer's dollar, and sometimes that means you vote no on issues in the interest of making the dollars go farther and go where they need to be for everybody. So you need to keep a statewide perspective, and that includes District 5. Thank you. Well, I would both support the University of Idaho financially and emotionally. It's my alma mater. I have great love for the University of Idaho. My wife and I are Vandal Boosters. And when you look at the University of Idaho for our district in our region, it's the biggest economic giant that we have, but it provides an economic benefits for our communities. Not only that, I always, when I was mayor of Moscow, I always had a bet with the mayor of Pullman who's going to win, win the games. I would either get a, a bushel full of apples from from the mayor of Pullman, or I'd have to give him a bushel full of potatoes from Idaho. Yeah. Needless to say, he got to eat a lot of potatoes. <laughs> Thank you. The University of Idaho is very near and dear to my heart. My wife and I met at the University of Idaho in 1980, where she mistakenly went to a fraternity kegger and met me. <laughs> so I've been very supportive of the University of Idaho. I think our funding since the recession has lagged a lot. In the, in the higher education realm. But I would also expand that out to, the, to any post-secondary education opportunities. Vocational needs to be improved. Uh, all of our, of our children and our students need to have the opportunity to have some certificate or degree, the, the go on rate it's called. Uh, it's actually been decreasing in Idaho and we need to turn that around and not be a state of low-wage jobs. We are one of the states with the most
people working near the minimum wage in the country, and we need to not be that in the future. Thank you. University of Idaho is a gem. It's an absolute gem, and for the money, it gives some of the best education I've ever seen. One of the things we promised employers a number of years ago, that we were going to start producing students from high school and from colleges that would stay in Idaho, and they would earn money and pay taxes in Idaho, and we have done a terrible job at that. And yet every year, colleges, and this year, U of I, 5% increase. We are pricing college out to where the middle class children don't get to go. And I think there's a missing link in the chain. And I, if I'm elected, I'm going to find out what it is. Thank you. Thank you. Education is key. And as a representative, I would find out from the university staff and, and the, the folks there, as well as the people of District 5, how they wanted the University of Idaho represented. So uh, that is my job to represent the people, the constituency. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Sorensen? Yes. Um, well, I think that our land-grant universities, such as the University of Idaho, are one of the things that are precious and unique in the United States. When I first moved here, before, actually before I moved, I was enrolled in a course at the University of Idaho. And I have, for a few years, I was also a teaching assistant volunteer in the phys ed department in the, internet, in, in the ballet program. I work with some rabid metals right now, and I've enjoyed the traditions, and, the, you know, and I've really adopted this area. But I would like to see a stronger community college system in our state, because like Ms. Gannon said, we have people that are priced out of the four-year colleges, or they're not, you know, they're reluctant to spend their money until they feel secure that they will have a skill. So I'd like to see North Idaho College perhaps reaching down, putting some satellite campuses into Benoit and Lata Lata counties. Thank you, Ms. Sorensen. Thank you very much.